Hey guys, my name is Sarah Johns and I'm trying to create a booktube video about Victober, uh, which is a month of reading Victorian literature. Uh, Victorian literature uh, would include anything written between 1837 to 1901, uh, written by authors uh, or writers um, that lived in England or Ireland, uh, Scotland, Wales, uh, during that time period, uh, during the reign of Queen Victoria. I love Victorian literature, so when I heard about this, I was really excited. And I already had quite a few books on my TBR to be read list for October, and quite a few of them fall within the Victorian literature uh, parameters. So I wanted to share a little bit uh, about what I'm planning to read. Now, most of these are rereads, so technically they don't address specific challenges. And before I get any further, uh, there are hosts for Victober. Um, and so I wanted to share a little bit about them. They're the ones that are helping kind of organize this event. Uh, we have Katie with uh, Books and Things. Her challenge is to read a Victorian book that equates to a favorite modern genre. I have a couple that even though, but they are rereads, but they would address that challenge. Then we have Lucy, uh, Lucy the Reader. And her challenge is to read a Victorian diary or a collection of letters. And I did get one book that I have not read before that I tried to address this challenge. And then we have Kate Howe, and her challenge is to read a new to you book and or short story by a favorite Victorian author. So I, I probably have, I guess, one or two, uh, but they're rereads, so they're not new to me. So technically they don't address that challenge. Uh, and then there's a group read of Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. I'm not going to be reading Shirley this year. I believe I tried to read it in high school and I just couldn't get into it. So we'll see. I might be able to get to it. I, I honestly don't know, though. I have quite a few books on my TBR. And then there was a group challenge, which is to read a book that has been on a previous Victober a list that you didn't get to. So this is my first Victober, so that part doesn't apply to me, but the other part of that challenge is to maybe read a book that's been on your TBR or to be read pile uh, list for a while. So, and I do have one that might address that, that is a new read to me. So let's go ahead and get started. So the one that actually addresses that first is The Moonstone, uh, and it's a new to me book. Uh, and I'll go ahead and read a little bit of the uh, background, basically, uh, the Moonstone introduces uh, this mystery story. It has a homey English uh, country setting, uh, colorful, exotic background in colonial India, uh, the theft of a fabulous diamond from the lovely heroine, a bloody murder, and a tragic suicide, a poor hero in love with a heroine but suspected of the crime, who can't remember anything about the night the jewel was stolen, a lawyer, a doctor, a sea captain, and assorted friends, relatives, and servants, all of them suspects, and most essentially a bumbling local policeman and a brilliant, if eccentric, London detective. So I'm really excited to read this one. This one's been on my uh, to be read pile for a while and I've never read it. So I'm hoping I'll really like this one. And a good mystery book is always appropriate for October. Books that I have read before. We have Withering Heights uh, by Emily Bronte. And while I have read it, it's been a while. I read it in high school and High school was a while ago. Let's just let's just go ahead and put it that way. Uh, so I'd like to reread it so I can discuss it with people again and not um, forget all of the details involved. I loved Agnes Gray when I read it in high school. Uh, I don't think I've read it since then, but I really loved it, and it's a great example of Victorian literature. So I'm really excited to reread this one. Uh, the picture of Dorian Gray, uh, and I know this book looks ridiculous, but this is not just. The picture of Dorian Gray. It's quite a few of his other works as well and if you can see on the back there's quite a few uh, of his other uh, works and plays so I'm really excited to read this one and I loved the cover so I went ahead and I know like I said it looks a little massive but I'll probably just read The Picture of Dorian Gray which is also a reread but Oscar Wilde is definitely a favorite author of mine. He's so funny. Then we have The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. I'm pretty sure that this is another reread for me, but this would definitely be a favorite genre. I do love a good mystery, and Sherlock Holmes is iconic. You can't go wrong with Sherlock Holmes, so 
that's definitely on my TBR. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, is another one. And this one is also like, there, there's also one. So uh, this, this is a pretty thin book and there's other tales. So it's a pretty short one. So I should be able to finish this one. And then this isn't actually a specific book, but I, I bought this at Target and I loved that it just has this really cool cover. It's called Classic Horror Tales. And quite a few of the uh, short stories in here are written by Victorian authors. So I might I might talk about some of these uh, later on some on some upcoming videos, because uh, I think these will work out really well. And I haven't read them before. So and this is the one book that I got. Uh, I know it kind of looks like a children's book. Uh, it says biography. And I, when I requested it from the library, I didn't realize it quite looked like this but again it's Oscar Wilde and he is definitely a favorite author and this is the one that addresses uh, the challenge about either reading a diary or letters. Now I, I thought it was just letters and apparently it's really more a biography of his life but there are quite a few uh, parts of letters and hopefully whole parts of or like an entire letter throughout this so I should be able to read this and I'm really excited for it because uh, I love learning I love learning more about Oscar Wilde so anyway all right there is one book that I forgot to mention uh, earlier and I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out how to do this with editing uh, but one of the other books that I'm planning to read uh, for Victober is uh, Dracula which is also a reread uh, it's, it's definitely one of my favorites I love uh, classic monster type spooky stories um and personally i don't think dracula is scary uh i'm i'm a wuss i can't read like super scary stories so this is definitely going to be one um that i'm really looking forward to reading during october so i'd love to hear any thoughts uh, that you have or if you plan to read it either for the first time or as a reread during october so those are my uh books that i'm planning to read during Victober. I have a lot of other books that I'm also hoping to get to. So I would love to hear your thoughts about some of these books. If you've read them, if you haven't read them. Uh, I love uh, talking with people about books and I'm sure I could go on and on and on about books and about some of my favorite uh, Victorian novels. So uh, I'd love to talk with you guys about any of these books and I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.